Jared Poland, Fronosphoto.com, and I'm sitting here with my Vanguard Monopod. It is the carbon fiber variety. I don't even know which number it is. That's going to pop up on the screen when I figure out which one I've been using for quite a while. But this replaced my old monopod that was steel and metal, and I had for a long time. It had the the clips on there, so when you would you know open it up, raise the monopod clip it, close it. I like that, but I also don't mind the twisty McTwisters things things anymore. But what I really like about this monopod is that it's light yet sturdy. You can see it's pretty thick. It's going to go over about six feet high. It goes over my head if I set it all the way up. If I go like this, turn that one out, turn that one out, and then there's one more. You probably get, yeah, that's, it's as wide as I can reach. It's my whole wingspan, so that's pretty cool. It's sturdy, even all the way out at the end. So let me just lower this, and I'll give you a quick tip on something. When, you're, when you find the place where you want to shoot with, the recommendation, tighten it. Tighten it really good so that it doesn't slip on you. I've had it where I haven't tightened it all the way. That's where I like those clips better, because when they're clipped, it's not slipping. But you just tighten it, you're good to go. You can get in-betweens everywhere you want to go. But what I like about it, you got the, uh, the nice head, there is no head, actually. Uh, I don't believe in putting a ball head or any type of head on top of a monopod. You have the rotation from the lens, and you don't need to pivot. If you need to pivot, you lean forward, you lean back, and they make that easier with this on the bottom. This rotates. So as you move, you're still stable and level to the ground. Or not level to the ground, but you're stable because that thing rotates. If you want to put it into the ground, you can turn this knob and you get the point coming out. But it, it's a really strong, sturdy, carbon fiber monopod uh, and I definitely would recommend this this is the one that I keep in my car at all times because it's light easy to travel with and when you're walking late at night in the city it's not gonna do as much damage to somebody who comes after you as the steel one but it's still gonna do some damage to somebody if they try to attack you and you hit you because I use it as a weapon if needed when I'm walking late in the city I have it at the ready I have it at the ready I can tell you that um, but very happy with this Vanguard monopod and that's it, Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com. See ya. Are you subscribed yet on the YouTube channel? Well, click this subscribe button right here. Also click this box if you want to be emailed every time I upload a new video so you can get the latest video uploads as they happen. And also, if you haven't signed up for the free user's guide, sign up right here, put your name, email address in here, hit send it, you will get a free ebook sent to your email as well as a link to a 60 minute long video on flash photography in the studio that Adam and I created. So please do that and we'll see you.